defining the experiment where I'm depicting field lines. This is the start of it. I'm just showing you how high it gets. It's around about 1.1 millimeters at this point with a third of the mass of iron filings on it. I stopped and took these other pictures as well at this point um, because it started to look like a um, a whirlpool or a, a black hole, a, a typical black hole kind of picture. It's not too clear these first two, but these next four pictures, you, you see the build up and it just looks like you know the, the vortex leading to an event horizon, which of course is what we're looking at with magnetic fields. Now, this is a bar magnet and this is either the negative or the positive side with a filing sprinkled over it, around about an inch away the paper is from the top of the magnet. Now now you're seeing the full mass of the iron filings that I've got and it's thickened up a lot as you can see. Uh, it's very very matted but what you do see is the way the field lines intermingle with each other and some, sometimes they, they break off and uh, you can see them sweeping to the side, not going out in a complete straight line, all of them. Some of them actually do interact with each other. It's clearly shown. What we're looking at here is a uh, top-down view onto it, showing the vertical aspect of the of the inner parts of the uh, magnetic field. Now, what you've got to appreciate here is what you're looking at. When we're looking straight down on it, You've got the outer radius, let's say, and, and you can see it, and they're, all, they're like laid out, let's say, like matchsticks in a circle. But in the centre, it's like matchsticks sticking straight up at you. But it's not quite like that. If you look straight in the way, it's just a little bit to the right and to the top, the centre is on this particular picture we're looking at. Um, and you've, you've got to appreciate that. I'm having to explain this, I'm not going to put anything on the picture to show you what I'm talking about. But, if you look very, very closely, what you will see is the, the vertical matchsticks, as I've explained it, in the centre, let's say the centre centimetre radius in this picture, they're actually not quite pointing straight up, they're actually pointing towards each other. And then, a ring of around about 5 millimetres around the outside of them, so the 1.5 millimetre kind of diameter area, but only that 0.5 millimetre section of it, is where they are actually vertical. And then the next 0.5 millimetre is where they start going the opposite way and start spreading outwards. Now, what I actually noticed at this point was quite remarkable. That's why I'm taking this picture. And I wondered what it meant. And... I got disturbed by someone and came back to this experiment about three hours later. I was packing it away. I was going to pack it away. And as I leant over the basically the box that it was in, at the moment you can't see the box around it because I haven't got the box around it, but it was, it was in the box. I made like an artificial box to go around the outside of it to get better, clearer pictures. As I leant over it anyway, I could smell something. And I knew what it was. It was iron filings. But what I'm trying to say is, I was around about 500 millimetres, about half a metre above the actual table surface with my nose, and I could smell iron filings. Now, I just walked in the room, and I hadn't opened and shut the door, so I hadn't wafted anything. So, what I surmised was that you've got the big iron filings, and then you've got the dust particles, and then you've got the smaller parts, because I, I ground these... I find it's myself. Yeah. So you're going to have the, the strands which you can see, and you have a small dust particles which are left on the paper afterwards, and those dust particles can have even smaller particles. And I know full well that magnetic field fields are in motion constantly, and they have energy, right? And what they're doing is they're picking up the iron filing micro particles. And there's three parts to the magnetic field. The major part, which you can see, which you can always see on any kind of um, iron filing experiment. But the secondary part is, sorry, that's the main part, that's the central part. And the two other parts are parts which haven't been explored by scientists on this planet yet. And what we've got to do is we've got to make a, a complete globe out of magnetic field 
So everything you see in, in uh, around you is is made up of spheres. Everything's a sphere, yeah. So you've got to understand that everything's magnetic, and everything's built on magnetism. So to get severe, you've got to have a sphere. It's not not everything's like an apple. If you look at an apple, it's it's dimple at the top and dimple at the bottom. But coming out of the top of the apple is a stalk, and coming out of the bottom of the apple is like a little bit of the the uh, well, it's the, it's the dead part left over from the uh, the flower, if you see what I'm saying. So, there was three parts to the apple. There's the apple itself, which grow out the centre of it. Then there's the petals and the flower bit, which the little bit of it's left over. Although the petals have fallen over, but the bud little bit is left over, yeah? And that's at the bottom of the apple. And then you've got the stalk, which was holding the flower in the first place. And the apple's grown in the centre of that. Now we're looking at this picture, and the apple would actually be the mass that you can see. And this stuff that I'm saying that I could smell is the stalk or the flower. Anyway, we'll we'll carry on at this point. And on this next picture, we're just looking at basically the vortex leading to the um, event horizon. Uh, this is an interesting picture, and it shows you the irregularity inside this magnet, how it's stronger on two sides, which m might suggest that it's got more than two poles, because you can see two strong points on it, can't you? Again, you can just make them out a little bit on this picture. It's, it's a bit strong on one side and the other. Maybe there's a lot of pull down one side and less down the other, or there's some, there's some weaknesses in the, there's a fracture in the, in the structure of the magnet, which is why you're seeing the two strong patches in it. On one side, on the top side here, look, it's very strong. On the bottom side, you've got a strong bit which is spread out more. Again, here we're looking at an event horizon with a vortex leading to it. And I've tried to depict it. This picture doesn't show it in this small, but when it's blown up, it does. And here, I'm looking where I flicked it with my finger to destroy the uh, field lines a little bit, just to show that it is um, basically iron filings and it's not some kind of drawing or something. And here's... Look at the matting and the complex structure of the uh, the complex structure of the magnetic field lines. Now they intermingle with one another, and they're not entirely straight. They are actually interwoven.